Hello, this is Sandy with a little bit of glitter, and today I have a really fun card using Veggie Happy stamp set from Lawn Fawn, along with my Altenew stamp wheel. I hadn't used that yet other than for ink blending, and I couldn't be happier with the way this card turned out. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. You can hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos. You can follow me on Instagram at Sandy Cogmill or on my blog, A Little Bit of Glitter. Let's get started. So like I said, this is the first time I have used my Altenew stamp wheel for circular stamping. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a piece of paper cut five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm using some spiffy speckles. It's um, the one that's got the green speckle on it. I'll go ahead and place that in the center of my stamp wheel. Um, I'll adhere that down really well. I've already placed my stamps on my stamping wheel. And how I got that placement is I put the center of my give it a whirl in the center of my paper and then kind of laid my stamps um, where they would actually be just at the edge of that, uh, give it a whirl, center, and not go off the edge of the paper when I got to the outside edges. Um, once I had that, then I could um, actually place them so that I liked um, how their placement was, meaning that their little smiles and everything were kind of perpendicular to the center. I think it's perpendicular. Anyway, they were straight on towards the center. Um, the stamps I'm using for this are Simply Celebrate Veggies. This was a um, free stamp that was given away on Lawn Fawn's last spring release. Um, if you spent, I think it was $60. I really hated cutting up my stamp set, um, although I do that pretty often. Um, but it's it's really not a big deal because I can just put them all together um, and use them the way they were originally intended. Oh my goodness, I just cannot believe how perfectly this turned out. So I'll go ahead and finish that last stamping. I'm going to go ahead and take one of um, my Give It A Whirl pieces that I've cut out. It's a green gingham. I decide not to use that. Um, I'm going to use something different. Uh, you'll see further in the video just to make sure that everything stamped just correctly. Now that I have all my little veggies stamped, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring them in. I'm using Copic markers. They're not going to blend super great because it's really not a blending paper, but the images are so small it doesn't really make too much of a difference. The colors that I'm using are R14, R39, and R46 for the reds. For the greens, I'm using YG01, YG07, and YG09. The yellows and the, the color I'm using for the onion is E50, Y02, and Y11. I'm not going to run the video and have you watch me coloring all these little people. I'll just do one of each of these and then we'll move on.
Now that I have that all colored, I want to soften the edges of that paper just a smidgen so that it's not so harsh on the uh, orange gingham of background. So I'm going to go in with some Mustard Seed Distressed Oxide ink. I'm actually not even going to put my brush in the ink. I have plenty left over in my brush from other projects. So I'm just going to go around the edges and just kind of touch those up a little bit. I don't want to get too much into my coloring just because I don't want to change the shades of those. I'm going to start on the interactive part of my card. This is the Give It A Whirl die. I'm going to use the front piece, which is the piece that does the spinning. And I'm going to put that in my Misty, and I'll go ahead and stamp my sentiment on that, along with a little um, piece from the, the very Veggie Happy stamp set. I try to avoid the, the center cut um, when I'm stamping that, just to make things easier when it spins. I will also stamp a B and a B trail using the You're a Keeper stamp set from Lawn Once I've got that stamped, I will go ahead and color in the little soil bag. And then I also go around the outside edges of that piece with a little bit of mustard seed, seed distressed oxide ink, just to soften up that edge just a little bit. Now we're going to start working on the stationary piece. I've got a piece of Spiffy Speckles Blue cut about four inches wide. I'm going to go ahead and tape on at the top the Give It A Whirl template just so I kind of have an idea of where things are going to line up on that piece. I'm going to measure up about three inches from the bottom and put little tick marks there so that I can line up my uh, hillside stencil and just kind of ink in a little bit of ground. I am going to use Mowed Lawn Distress Oxide ink for that. I don't bother going back in and speckling anything um, just because the speckles of the paper show through just fine. I'm going to flip that template back down and start placing in my little pieces from the Veggie Happy stamp set. I've already colored them and cut them out. Um, I've used Copic markers and the colors that I've used are YR01, YR02, B91, B95, E30, E31, E33, E34, E35, E37, R20, R22, N1, N2, N3, Y06, and Y08. As I'm placing these, I'm not too worried about keeping them all in the center of that circle. I know that uh, when I run that die through the die cutter, it's going to cut some of those pieces out. And that's okay, because I have figured out a way to put a little frame around that to kind of frame up that whole little piece. So as you can see, I'm just kind of placing my little pieces where they're going to look the best. And again, I am still trying to kind of avoid that center cut as best I can. Um, that way it's going to help with the movement when I get ready to put the pieces together.
Now that I have my pieces where I want them and glued down, I want to get my piece centered and lined up. So I'm going to use the circle that comes with that template and set it down on top of my decorated piece. And then I'm going to take the uh, Give It A Whirl die piece, the outside piece, the one that doesn't move, and just kind of figure out where that is going to fit the best and then tape it down and run it through my die cutter. I wanted to bring a little bit of the gingham that I used on the background of my card to the front. So I figured out if I cut out a piece from the Give It A Whirl die, the big piece, the one that doesn't move, and then I took my medium circle from the large stick, stitched circle stackables and lined it up in there, I could create a little frame um, that will go around my little decorated piece. What is kind of neat about this little frame is once you get it glued on, it is not going to impede on the movement of your um, top wheel at all. It is still going to sit back from the right hand opening of that slit in your decorated piece. Um, I would have liked it to be just a wee bit bigger uh, so that once my wheel was closed, you couldn't see any of the background, but then the die wouldn't work. So um, that's just a little nitpicky thing of mine. I can get really weird that way sometimes. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start putting together the little piece that moves around in our Give It A Whirl. So I've got my extra piece cut out of cardstock. I have my little handle also cut out of a heavy cardstock, along with a little piece of gingham paper. I want to color in that little handle just a little bit with some blue um, marker so that that arrow will stand out once I get that little decorative piece glued on top of the handle. I've got my little connector piece cut out of copier paper. I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half and put some glue tape on one side of it. I will take that side and just kind of center it um, on the top part of that slit cut opening and give that a good press down. Then I will put some glue tape on the exposed side, making sure there isn't any outside of that connector piece. And I will line up that blank piece of cardstock on top of my little moving piece and press that down so that it's kind of, now it's connected by that piece. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the little handle now right at the, so that it's right at the top of that uh, slit again on the bottom side of the slit. So that's going to be the handle that you're going to use to slide that mechanism around in the stationary wheel. From the back side, I'm going to insert that piece that moves around into the slit on the piece that's stationary. And uh-oh, it's not going to fit. So you know why that is? It's because the die did not cut through some of those glued on pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and take my X-Acto knife and just kind of cut that piece of paper just to kind of help it along so that piece gets in there and moves freely. Um, I will also have, now that I've cut that piece, kind of a little opening where I'm going to have to fill it in with a little bit of marker because 
now I have a white piece of paper. But it's really not going to show that much, so it is okay. It takes a little bit to get that piece to spin around freely in there. Um, just, you know, be patient with it. it it'll eventually work. Uh, you just don't, don't force anything. Because if you do, then I have found that I will rip my connector. So just take a few minutes to kind of play with that, move it back and forth, and kind of train that paper to spin around in that circle. Now we're going to start putting everything all together. So we're going to take that awesome square piece with that awesome circle stamping on it and put some glue runner on the edges and I will go ahead and adhere that centered on my little piece of orange gingham paper. That paper is actually an older collection called Gotta Have Gingham Rainbow that came out a few years ago. Now I'm going to take some thin foam tape and go around that circle just to lift that up off of the card base so that mechanism has some room to move and it gives the recipient a little bit of room to grab that little handle. I generally use the perforated little stitch lines to help me line up where to place that foam tape. Once I know everything is moving freely, I can go ahead and peel off that tape and apply it to my card. Um, once I got done with that card, um, I had actually quit filming, but I decided the card needed a little bit of something. So I went back in and I used some yellow spiffy speckle paper and I stamped out I love you and from my head to my toes or my tomatoes. And I adhered those on foam tape at the top corner. The I love you is at the upper left hand corner and from my head to my toes down at the right hand corner. And then I needed a little bit of something in those other two corners. So I used the skinny tags die to cut out some little hearts from different scraps of that gingham paper. And then I just adhered it to those corners. Uh, just to fill that in a little bit. That pretty much does it for this fun little card. Like I said, I am just absolutely in love with that Alta New stamp wheel. I can't believe I haven't used it before now. Anyway, thanks for stopping by today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to be notified of future videos. You can follow me on Instagram at Sandy Cognell or on my blog, A Little Bit of Glitter. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.